Hi, I'm Sid Blue and I'm a commercial pilot. I went to the Women in Aviation International Conference and asked some questions. Here's part two. You're never too late. I took up flying when I was 40, so you've got your whole life to learn to fly. And there are lots of women who fly, lots of good ones, and you just do it slowly at your own rate, pay as you go, have fun, believe in yourself. I would say just do it. Especially to the girls. It's, it's not an easy road, but if you love it, stick it out because it's definitely worth it. And if you don't have anyone in your life who supports you, luckily I did, but if you don't, there's definitely a whole group and community of people out there and you will definitely find someone. And there's lots of different people out there who have the same interests as you. And coming to this conference has actually helped me realize that. And you could go down and talk to a flight instructor and take a lesson in a Cessna 150 or 152. It, it's great fun and just go and do it. It takes a lot of determination um, and a lot of focus and a lot of drive to want to fly because it does take a lot of time um, and a lot of, uh, it takes a lot of, um, I guess, just studying and sticking to what you want and learn, knowing what you want. But to kids whose families don't support them um, or say that their families don't support them to fly, I would say um, stick to what you want to do. Uh, if your mom or your dad says flying is not for you, you know what, it's okay because one day you're going to prove them wrong if you really want to, you know, get that second job, um, spend all that extra time studying, you know, if that's what you love to do, then I'm sure one day that they'll, they'll, it, you know, they'll come to um, learn that and they'll come to love it just as much as you do and love you for wanting to do that and having that much drive to do it on your own. To those people who don't know if they can make it, you know, just just try, <laughs> just go out there and try and talk to people. Um, you know, if you see someone who's doing something that you want to do, I'm sure they're approachable. Talk to them about it. If you love it, stick with it and follow your passion. The most important thing is to find your passion. And whatever you are passionate about, then just find ways to excel in it. And that of course means, you know, staying away from things like drugs and alcohol, and of course doing well in school. But at the end of the day, you can be successful in anything if you choose to surround yourself with positive people. So I tell kids to choose their friends very wisely and they want to choose people who believe in their dreams as much as they do. And if they can do that, then they can do anything, which includes, of course, being a pilot. If you can find one person, be it a best friend, you know, be it anybody that supports you, that can be all you need. But even if you don't have that, if you want to make something happen in your heart, you know, you make that happen with your brain. And if you dedicate yourself to it, um, you will find someone that will support you. You will find a guidance counselor, you'll find a teacher, you will find a mentor. Uh, you can go to a local airport and just, you know, see an instructor and tell them what you want to do. And like I said, people love to spread the aviation community around. It's a great group of people and they're going to want to get you in a plane and they're going to help you achieve that even if other people aren't around you. So the the more you search, the more you try, the more you're going to find people that want to help you out. And if you keep kind of pushing, you're going to make it happen. So just kind of try to stay positive, keep working. And I've never met anybody that if they didn't want something bad enough, they couldn't make it happen. So it's kind of all up to you. I recommend that you do well in school and um, as much as you can to be involved in your community. You know, volunteer, help um, with your church or local YMCA, things like that. Things that show that you um, want to lead and care about um, people in your community. And then you could take some flying lessons to show some interest in there and then see if you really enjoy it. Scholarships are your leg up. Yes, you're going to have to do some paperwork. Yes, you're going to have to write an essay. And oh yeah, if you don't turn it in on time, they're not going to consider you. But if you can follow those simple steps, you can have a ticket to a really great career a really great experience. The different kinds of scholarships that Women in Aviation helps to disperse um, range from a seaplane rating to a private pilot rating to helping you go to school so you can get your A&P mechanics rating. Uh, we, we just have such a huge range. There are even scholarships for $500 to help you buy books at college. I think that any young lady who wants to become a pilot, I would highly recommend it because it is just absolutely exhilarating. It takes a lot of confidence and courage and skill, but at the same time it's very graceful and it gives you a lot of freedom. And so I just think it's an amazing experience for anybody.